Hi and welcome to my playhouse and this secret bunker. <sighs> so with the wall raging on outside, well really not but I am in the bunker and today I have something that uh, is kind of bunker related ish. So I climbed down here with a blanket and something nice to sit on so that we can have a little uh, review of something military ish. So. Uh, Let's see what I have here. I'll get rid of this. This was more or less just to, to kind of um, <laughs> dampen the, the echo a little bit. It's not helping a lot, but it's doing a little bit of something. So I'm gonna throw it over there because then it's gonna dampen when I'm speaking in that direction. Not sure it's gonna help much, but. I have a box here and this is a, this is a Danish a ration for the military and um, it, it actually says here what's in it in Danish so uh, yeah <laughs> there is a uh, dried fruit bread biscuits chocolate bar marmalade matches choco let's see it instead and I'll uh, I'll show it to you as we unbox it um, yeah this is a property of the military not for resale so i got this for free someone who got it from the military but couldn't eat it all so here we are the sound is horrible down here and this might not have been a good idea but we're gonna continue so here is the box it says why i don't know why but oh and here is all the all the stuff in the box so you can you can see uh, it's a chili con calm one I hear that they are really popular and this one was made in 2021. I am not sure when, when you should eat this before. I have no idea what the, the expiration date is. So let's open up. Um, I was in the military uh, years back and we were well constantly out. Um, on, on different drills and stuff and so I've lived quite a few weeks on rations like this and to be quite honest I could live more or less in, uh, from Monday to Friday on just one box they were uh, okay at the time it was actually two boxes they were a little bit bigger than, than this two boxes that was a little bit bigger than this and I could uh, I could more or less live uh, the entire week on uh, on those two boxes so I carried home eight boxes of weird stuff so, okay. so this is the chili con can thing so plastic bag and there is 400 grams of chili con can in there so that is very nice there is the ingredients it does not I was looking for an expiration date uh, 2024 uh, that's not actually that long that this uh, lasts and this one was made in 2020 so December 2020 and to June 2024 so the shelf life of four and a half years till you can come then we have Mackerel it's made UK ingredients Mackerel it's a fish in tomato sauce, I like, maybe I like it. I don't like it much, but it's not the worst thing. Funny enough, there is two of those. Oh no, this is tuna in water. Another fish thing. I really love fish. I do. I really love fish. It's such a shame to catch them and eat them. Such a shame. <laughs> oh, then we have our breakfast here. This is a muesli, chocolate muesli. This is good for 2025. Oh, should we just check if, if there's dates on these? Yeah, this is good for March 2023. Uh, same thing, March 2023. I think it has dry milk in it, so you just add 100 milliliters of water and then you'll have a nice milky muesli. 
and this is good for uh, August 2025. So good long muesli. Then we have what is this? Wild West beef jerky. Okay, good stuff. <laughs> Interesting. April 2024. Yeah, it's kind of a snack. We have some fire matches. Yeah. Very nice. Then we have a strawberry jam. Um that's I haven't seen any bread yet, but that might be could this be bread? It could be oh it's cake. Orange flavored cake. So um, yeah, orange cake. And then we have Oh this is bread. This is weird. There's two slices of we call it rubrol. Uh, whole ray bread. I don't know how you say that, but yeah, we put two pieces so you could put your strawberry jam on that. And then we have what is this then? It's farmhouse pate. Yeah, this is a pat pate made out of uh, pig liver. It's very popular in Denmark, so we, we eat that a lot. And this is another pate uh, ingredients. Kind of the same thing, the different model. Uh, we have raspberry jam. And we have, this is a snack bar with apple and cinnamon flavor. And then we have some, we have some nuts. <laughs> some uh, nuts. And then what could this be? This could, uh, another camel flavored uh, candy bar or energy bar then we have something here uh, apple peach hmm. something that you drink and then we have, uh, we have we have some small stuff here we have a chocolate bar very nice and we have some hazelnuts with Chucky, I have no idea what this is weird. Could it be? Oh, it's it's a uh, it's kind of Nutella, but without the Nutella brand. So, uh, Nutella without being Nutella. We used to have Nutella in here. Uh, probably. Then what is this? It's a flameless heater. So to heat up your food. You put in your dinner there, and then you add some water, and then this uh, substance down here, which is some chemical, will heat up, and then you get your hot chili con carne by using this bag. We should try that. And what do we have? What do we have? We have more stuff. What is this? There is a lot of stuff in here, right? And this is for one day. You get one of these every day. So this is some dried berries. Uh, this is some uh, other dried berries, uh, raisins. Oh, and the first one, two de bear, crangle cranberries in English. And then we have powder. And this is drinking powder, um, this raspberry flavor. And then we have another one, uh, another drinking thing. And this one has citrus flavor. It's never gonna fit down there again if I don't put it in the right order. So this is kind of all sorts of stuff. Looks like we have we have salt and we have pepper. We have uh, I think this might be chewing gum. I have no idea why they put two pieces of chewing gum in there. That seems a bit weak. And we have uh, black tea, uh, powder coffee, P 
powder coffee antibacterial wet wash another one another one another uh, powder coffee salt <laughs> the, the juice brush where you go you get a you get two spoons so I make sure that there's nothing dangerous so you don't have a fork or a knife I don't want military personnel to get to hurt themselves on, on dangerous fox and stuff so uh, we have a, a, a couple of juice sticks to uh, to get <laughs> your liquid food out of your teeth then we have pepper we have sugar that's exactly the same sugar packs as when I was in the uh, uh, military or the army or what you call it and then we have another black tea sugar Oh, there's more. Ah, okay. So there is different flavors of chewing gums. That's, so it's not as cheap. Now there is at least six pieces of chewing gum for an entire day. So uh, <laughs> they only have to last four hours each now. That's an improvement. And we have some more pepper here. We are getting near the bottom here, but let's see. There's a little bit left here. We have. This is cocoa drinking powder, so you can heat up and you get uh, warm cocoa. They were very popular when I was in, in the military. Then you have uh, rough biscuits. So, we, yeah, th these will go very well with the mammalates. And then we have, what was this? Oh, this is bread. I have no idea how that works. We didn't get that. We got fresh bread, uh, fresh and fresh. It was, it was freshish when when I was in there. Now, two things left. What is this? Spicy sauce. Okay, nice. And the last thing is a soup. Okay, so beef soup. Um, I'm guessing that it's it's powder and you put it in water. So I can fully understand why we're not involved too much in any wars after uh, eating all of this. Who has time for more? I was really planning on making the chili con can down here in the bunker. But um, and, and happy to see that it had one of these bags that could heat it up. But uh, reading the safety instructions on the bag of it, it seems to producing flammable gases that are irritating for all kind of stuff and uh, should not uh, come in contact with skin. I think it's safer to take this upstairs. So uh, yeah, we'll have to go out of the bunker to get my dinner. <laughs> so let's go up. Okay, we have moved upstairs. So my plan is to, of course, take this back. There, take the chili con can, there. Uh, I have gotten my uh, my trusty <laughs> water thing here, and, and I'm gonna pull that uh, in the bag, like it says here. Uh, we're gonna open the bag, put this bag in, put 600. Oh, it's not. It's only 60 milliliter. Yeah, that would be way too much water then. Good thing that I read that. And then close the bag again. There's a piece of tape here that you uh, you pull back and then you, you you put this somehow and tape it on, I guess. And then it takes 10 to 12 minutes. It says it here. After 10 to 12 minutes, the meal is ready to eat. Caution, contents will be hot. Yeah, that's the general idea. So, okay, let's get a move on. See if we can peel this. That was easy. And we will open up. Have a look inside. So there's some kind of a a paper container there with some substances that is not good for you. So uh, we are gonna have to open this up when it comes out. So I'm gonna I'm gonna press all the stuff further down so that there is nothing in the top of of the chili con carne thing. And then put this in there. And slide it past this. 
Huh? And then um, it also has a line here on the on the front. We should fill water to there. So that's that's the amount. So I'm gonna do that. Uh, we didn't have these when I was in the military. We uh, we got something that needed burning. Okay, that was a bit too much. I'm sure they have. No idea how to do this, so I'm just gonna Yep, yeah. and, and I, I prepared a little thing that I could put it in Not hot yet, but it did, uh, I think there's some air in there that wasn't there before. So it's just something to keep it warm. Um, yeah. it's, a, it's a flower pot. Oops, I did not expect that. It, uh, it, uh, it, I've been too thorough about this. It's, it's steaming. Okay, that's uh, very effective. I was preparing uh, one of the um, I wanted a snack while we were waiting for our cook cooking here, <laughs> the cooking channel. So I was I was finding that, and suddenly the tape exploded down with my at my feet. So yeah, I want this the citrus favored uh, drinking thing. And I need to find the spoon so that I can get my, my chili con carne. There's two spoons. I'm guessing that one, one of them is for the chili con carne and one is for the breakfast. The muesli, which is just sitting there. So. And we should probably uh, have no idea if, if they've actually put any flavor in there. We'll prepare some salt and pepper as well. And something to wipe our mouth after our feasty meal. Mm. Should we have a apple cream flavored apple? Yeah, we should have that. How much water do we have to add? 500 milliliters. We're in luck. Okay, there is only 470. That means that it actually tastes of something. This could be very thin. So uh, we're gonna pull this powder in. Okay, we'll just we'll just borrow the spoon to to dissolve this. Give it a chance. Then I'll check out this muesli bar. Looks. Oh, it is kind of a muesli bar. <laughs> Pretty ordinary, right? It's not horrible, but it's very, very sweet. This is incredible. Wonder how much the, a bag like that costs. It would be worth it just to, to, you know, cook rice. I think this is dissolved enough, so we can pull it in our glass here. Taste the orangeiness. Now I'm pretty happy that we didn't do this in the bunker. Yeah, this is on the other hand not very good. I think they made this muesli bar out of stuff that doesn't really taste of anything. And then they have just added the, the, the orange flavor to it. Then they can flavor it anything. But down the hatch it went. Ooh, flammable gases. And there was matches. Yeah, we shouldn't. But it's tempting, it's so tempting. That would be such a fun thing. 
So while our dinner is smoking away, we might as well go nuts. Uh, yeah. This is about as much as you get on an airplane, I guess. S roasted, salted, cashew, cashew nuts. Hmm. They've been in the bag for two and a half years. Still good. Very good. I think my feast is about there. It's a... Uh, yeah, it's very hot. <laughs> I might actually have to wait for it to cool down a little bit. Yeah, it was just... <clears throat> I, don't, I don't think that was necessary, but it probably helped. Uh, so while my, uh, my dinner cools down, I'm gonna help myself uh, to another protein bar with a uh, caramel flavor. Let's see if it looks exactly like the other one, just uh, with other chemicals. Ah, it doesn't look exactly... Ah, it actually looks nowhere near the same, but it looks very caramel-ish. So let's review that. It's caramel. It's decent. It's not great. It's decent. It will go down the hatch. I'm not gonna have room for a dinner. Well, well, let's see this. <clears throat> it's lovely and hot. You can see it's steaming. Some our chili con carne out of there. Yeah, it's warm. And then here we have that pouch. Oh, that's really warm. It doesn't say how warm it becomes, but yeah, the water down here is very warm. I'm not sure if if the water gets contaminated or if you could use this bag for making your tea as well. Um, or you could take one of, one of these bags and put some water in there. So you could uh, you could multi multi-purpose this and make your dinner and have warm water for tea or coffee or the chocolate drink at the same time. So, yeah, we better prepare our feast here by uh, <laughs> pulling the, the, the top of it. Yeah, oh, doesn't that look yummy? Not really, but I'm sure it's, um, it will taste better than it looks. And, uh, I hope it will taste better than it looks. Oh, I guess we need to taste it. Um, uh, does it need salt and pepper? You know? uh, I mixed it around. All the beans had uh, had dropped to the bottom like sops. So uh, yeah, it might not be this year that they get their first Michelin star, but well, it might be coming. It can do with some salt and pepper, and I think this is exactly the right amount. Oh, that might actually be a little bit too much. Okay. The pepper is probably fine. Yeah, that's fine. And yeah, a little bit more. Ah, okay, it's fine. And we need to mix it a little bit again. Uh, this is actually uncomfortably warm. So I have this uh, um, camouflage cloth, <laughs> which is not really camouflage, it's just dirty. So uh, 400 grams of dinner, the same weight as a frozen pizza. Nothing wrong with it. A little bit too neutral, but it, it actually has a bit of bite there. They didn't completely not put in the chili. When I was in the military, we had cans. So one of those two boxes that we got one of them would be mainly one big can and then some some of the, the, the salt and pepper and stuff. These two boxes and you had to make sure to get one of each, otherwise you would have a weird meal. Yeah, so I actually did eat all of that and it's, um, it's really good. Even the plastic spoon is a decent quality. It's not the cafeteria ones that breaks as soon as you reach out for it. So. I think we just need to uh, wipe our 
grim smile here. Got one of these disinfecting stuffity stuffities. They just need to make these so that they heat up when they uh, come in contact with air so that you don't have to wipe your face with a ice cold piece of paper leaf thing. Yeah. Oops. Skywatcher. So uh, this pouch keeps warm for quite a while. So if it's a uh, Freezing and you're a cold soldier. I'm sure you would find some where really nice to put this So that yeah, it uh, it will keep you warm for a good hour or so very cool I must admit I'm, I'm actually pretty full now. So even though this uh, apple cake uh, Oh, it's not an apple. It's cake with orange flavor uh, Sounds really good. I can't eat it and there is more powder stuff and there is still the, the Nutella stuffity stuff and the bread and the breakfast so yeah it's loaded with good stuff that I need to try later <laughs> so there's a load of more stuff that I could have tried out I think this video is plenty long by now so I'll have to test that later I'm actually looking forward to the muesli breakfast chocolate muesli breakfast I like chocolate muesli so uh, thank you very much for watching my videos. Do subscribe to my channel so you can see me again do something completely different because this is not something that I'll be doing again anytime soon. Well, except if someone was to send me some rations from other countries. And have a really nice day. Bye bye.